Hi, I'm Chris Lewis. I'm President and CEO of Public Knowledge, and, and I'm excited that I'm going to be attending the Consumer Electronics Show 2022 uh, this week here in, in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, I leave tomorrow morning. I'm here in the Public Knowledge office right now, and uh, it should be an exciting show. They haven't had one for two years, um, and so there's all sorts of new technology to see and, and lots of interesting policy to discuss about that technology. Awesome. So what are what te- new technologies are you most excited to see this week? I think the m- most interesting technologies are ones where we see how they work with other types of technology. So uh, take, for instance, smart home technologies. Uh, they all talk to each other. Um, they're often integrated with larger platforms. And that's really interesting from uh, both a user perspective uh, because it lets you learn about um, – uh, what you need to buy to make it work and, and just how easy it is for a consumer to use uh, the new technologies. Uh, but it's also interesting from a policy perspective because then you wonder about uh, how well do these uh, devices work with uh, uh, other services that you might want to use? Does that mean you're locked in to a walled garden? Um, or can you try devices that are made by different companies and still make it work on your home network um, or on a variety of, of, of uh, network devices that you use. Maybe you're into wearables. Maybe you're into uh, devices in your home, devices in your car. Everything is connected these days. So figuring out how those connections work to the advantage of the user is very, very interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I know you're on two panels this week, one on Thursday, one on Friday. So Yeah, I'll be speaking on two panels. Uh, the, the first one will be on privacy and looking at uh, the expectations of public as states and uh, the federal government are looking at uh, how to create privacy laws. So that'll be interesting. Uh, the, the second one will be on uh, looking at if there's competition in the digital platform marketplace, uh, in the tech uh, marketplace. Uh, and, and that's hard to define because there's so many different parts of the technology market. Um, There's so many great small companies. So it'll be interesting to see how small companies react to the dominance of a few big tech firms uh, in things like search and social media and marketplace or app stores. Um, So we'll be talking about uh, the impact of those big companies and and how policies to to counterbalance that power uh, impact smaller companies. Uh, so that'll be an interesting conversation as well. I, I hope uh, that there are others there uh, from Washington. Traditionally, uh, there has been uh, guest speakers like the chairperson of the FCC or FTC commissioners or others who are dealing with technology policy. But these days with the Omicron variant, it's really unclear that much of Washington is going to make it this year. Um, I'll be playing it very safely out in Vegas, so you'll see me masked up uh, on camera, probably masked up. Um, But I do hope that some folks make it and we have some interesting policy discussions with policymakers. If not, uh, I'm sure there'll be great conversations among the uh, the vendors uh, and the many companies that are participating as well. Awesome. And that kind of leads into my last question. So obviously CES hasn't kicked off yet, but it starts tomorrow. And with the Omicron variant, things are kind of in flux. But is there anything you expect to see this week on the panels? Uh, Do you expect to kind of be in the showroom a lot? What do you expect your schedule to look like? Right. So I'll arrive on Wednesday and I hope on Wednesday to get to uh, walk part of the floor. but I'll probably be spending uh, more of my time um, checking out all the vendors at the convention floor on Thursday and Friday um, in between the panels that I'll be participating on. So uh, a number of companies have pulled out. Um, It's understandable uh, uh, to be as safe as possible. Uh, They didn't didn't want to participate uh, with the Omicron variant out there, Uh, but there's still thousands of companies that are participating. And so I, I hope we'll be able to find some interesting new technology to show, um, some upgrades or advances in technology. Um, and, and uh, you know, I'll do my best to uh, uh, be as safe as possible, but to walk you around and show anything interesting that I can find. Um, and, and it's interesting at the Consumer Electronics Show, a lot of times the most interesting things come from the smallest companies. Um, so uh, there's an, usually an innovation zone, 
uh, with very small companies doing interesting things um, and, and just trying to think outside the box. So I'm sure we'll find some interesting stuff on that part of the, the convention floor. Awesome. Well, it sounds like you're going to have a great week seeing a lot of new technologies and we'll be excited to check in, see how it goes. Okay. Thanks, Anna.